Okay, here we have here is a little C2 Summit Cordura Rucksack. Basically, you can see the size of it, you know, packs in or nothing. Here's a, a Vango Titanium Spark, if you look at the size of that. Um, yeah, actually, handy for kind of many uses. Actually, the, the, the stuff sack is actually incorporated into the actual pack itself. Has got, as you can see there, a little clip. You can actually hang that off your rucksack. I find it very good for if you're going uh, backpacking, trekking, or uh, multi daying. If you are either kind of pitching your tent or dumping your rucksack and you're going off to uh, another hill, another summit, uh, just grab uh, your, your, your juice, your, your, your water, a couple of snacks, and maybe a camera, uh, gloves, and uh, put it in there. Um, I did used to use a hip belt. <clears throat> but hip belts don't come any place closer to uh, the size of this. Again, it's kind of like a, a cordura, um fabric, you know, it's uh, windproof, waterproof, um, tear resistant. But if I just get it out, these retail for about uh, £18. It does obviously, you'll see the, the shoulder straps. Zip that back up. And you see, uh, I don't know how many litres that is, I think it's probably about, you know, about eight litres. Uh, but you do have it's the same kind of fabric that's incorporated into the, the straps. Uh, you've actually got the cord to actually kind of pull in. Um, Like that. Although well, the, I mean, obviously the shoulder straps are a bit flimsy, but uh, what do you expect? But you can kind of still actually pull them in like that. And just stuff up so you could actually see what it looks like. Um, when it's actually full, and it's got some stuff in it. It is a, a sleeping bag, although I wouldn't be uh, carrying this to put a sleeping bag in. But if I just put a sleeping bag in it, just as a full sleeping bag going in, just to show you the volume. So there's a full sleeping bag in it, which is obviously, it's actually still got a, bit, a little bit more room. But you know, very light, very durable. Uh, or well, hook there if you want to hook up into a bothy. But I would just put it on like you'd wear a normal rucksack. And as I says, they're very thin, uh, but lightweight. But there you go, there's a portable rucksack. Again, they're obviously quite easy, just like in normal lock socks, just to hook the strap off and loosen it a bit. And there you go, there's a seat to sum it. Little day pack. But as I said, you don't kind of use that uh, if you're going backpacking or trekking. And you know, you, you, you pitch a tent and you, know, you fancy jumping up to, to a summit. Uh, and put in like kind of your essentials in, um, gloves, uh, insulating jacket, uh, water, or something like that. But if I take this back out, as you can see, the integrated stuff sack is actually at the top of the rocks up there. What you do is start stuffing it back in in no uncertain terms. Doesn't matter what goes in first.
There's a pretty much back in. We'll draw a cord on it. Pulls it back in. Back in your rucksack. Or again, as a wee hook thing, you put it on your hip belt. I don't think you really want to wear it on your kind of hip belt. Um, or either on a shoulder strap. But uh, generally packed away in the rucksack. As it says, for popping up to that little summit. Uh, just taking a couple of essentials, uh, but yeah, uh, see to summit, little sil nylon, cordura, uh, rucksack, how small it is, unbelievable.